Hey guys, Sean here with Microsoft. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to demo PowerPoint with Microsoft 365. Okay guys, let's start with the first feature which is Quick Starter. Quick Starter is a great tool to help you build the outline of your presentation slides. So how do you demo this feature? Okay, open PowerPoint, select Teams and choose Quick Starter. Next, what you need to do is key in the topic of choice. So for example, maybe I want to type Lee Kuan Yew. So when you press search using the power of Bing, Okay, PowerPoint is going to search for your topic. So again, click on you here. Yes, I select. And what's happening here is that using AI and the internet, PowerPoint is helping you identify key topics that you may want to talk about in your presentation slides. So as you see here, there are many things that I picked, but you can additionally choose as well. So, you know, let's say I don't want additional honors, I don't want awards, memoirs, cultural depictions, and I press next. So, PowerPoint is collecting all the information and helping you create a very nice theme and template to the topic at hand. And here, last step, all you need to do is choose a particular template that you like to use. So, for example, maybe I kind of like this template actually, it's very nice. Okay, press next. So, putting together quick starter outline. So, just take note that for this to work, you do require to have an internet connection. And Automatically, what you see here is that PowerPoint has created a very nice outline for you. Take note, okay, when you're demoing to the customer or when you're sharing to the customer, highlight to them how the first two slides are actually hidden, okay, for the reference, for your own reference. So because I've chosen Lee Kuan Yew, the first slide here gives you key facts about Mr. Lee Kuan Yew himself. So for example, he was born on September 16. Okay, his, who was his spouse, which was his uh, political affiliation, school, and so on and so forth. Okay, slide number two, also hidden, gives you suggestion about some key things that you may want to add or also research on related to Mr. Lee Kuan Yew. So if you see here, it says use Smart Lookup to learn more. So again, you can demo to the customer how within PowerPoint itself, you want to right click on Peranakan and do Smart Lookup. What's happening here is that I can automatically search for certain information directly within PowerPoint so I don't have to exit to another browser to search so everything can be done straight directly here. So this is the very nice cover page that PowerPoint has created for me. So as you see here, Lee Kuan Yew even credited the photo it came from. Created a very nice content page for me. Yes, you do need, may need to make some adjustments, but you know the idea is that content page has been done. So as you scroll through, you see you know family background has been put in here, personal life. So you as a user, all you need to do is fill in the relevant data. And just to show you a bit more information inside here or what else Kickstarter does, we can look at the bottom here. So Quick Start is intelligent enough to suggest you some key topics that you may want to talk about related to this particular header here. So about early political career, okay, you may want to consider things like the Fajar trial, which honestly I have no idea what it's about, but maybe I should go and read up and search on it. Okay, and as well, okay, it has populated more photos to help you, you know, create a very nice looking presentation and ultimately save time. And last thing I want to show you, which is really interesting, is also that if you take a look right towards the end, okay, PowerPoint has actually input a particular quotation for you. Oh, sorry, not input in a sense, but it's suggested to you why don't you put an interesting quote here. And if you take a look at the bottom here, okay, there are many, many quotations that have been said by Mr. on you, and all you need to do is choose one and paste. So that's how the demo quick starter. It's very fast, very simple, and it's a unique feature to Microsoft 365. Okay guys, let me show you the next feature and how to demo and that is Design Ideas. Design Ideas is a very powerful tool to help you build very nice looking presentation slides. So, you know, for example, when you build or when you open a new PowerPoint, okay, select Design Ideas here from the top right hand side. Okay, again, using the internet, Design Ideas has given you a list of potential designs that you can choose from. And if you notice that some of them are even animated to help you add a special touch of class or you know possess to your powerpoint and of course if you don't like you can always scroll through and select and see more design ideas okay but what i want to show you next is how design ideas can be taken to the next level which is it is contextually aware of what you're typing so for example maybe you want to demo to your customer you type in the word ocean for design ideas to work just take note that it requires internet connection so what's happening here is that using ai 
they eat as PowerPoint is understood that oh what is ocean and if you take a look at the site here it's given me design ideas or backgrounds related to the word ocean I can even choose some again that are animated here next step or next thing I want to show you in design ideas is that how about if you want to place or you have placed your own photos inside many of us have faced that before you know for example okay I placed four photos here and normally what happens is that I have to manually arrange the photos and it's very troublesome and stuff like that but with PowerPoint design ideas after you place the photos here okay select the option again and this time if you take a look here design ideas has suggested to me a list of multiple sort of design and templates that I can choose to help me make my PowerPoint slide look a lot nicer and you can choose which one you want that fits your theme perfectly maybe I kind of like I kind of like this one actually so you take a look again how design ideas really helps you save time and how easy it is to demo to your customer okay guys let me show you the last feature and how to demo it Okay, and this feature is called live caption so let's go back to the Lee Kuan Yew presentation slide that I created earlier live caption is a powerful tool again that helps you translate or caption your presentation slides how do you activate it open a PowerPoint that like you see here okay, you right click and select start subtitles so what's happening here is that you notice that as I talk Okay, automatically what is being said is being translated into Mandarin okay of course I don't speak Mandarin okay but the great thing is that if I were to present to a group of people who are only Mandarin speakers they can actually understand what I'm presenting or you know what if I'm presenting to a group of people and I don't want to be translating in Mandarin I want to be using or I want to be captioning in English so what you can do as well is right click okay subtitle settings more settings and then select spoken language as english and subtitle language as english as well so let's go through and let's see let me find english i have english here so once done now as i talk as i present okay whatever i'm saying is being captioned in english here on the screen so when i'm presenting again if people are hard to hear or they cannot see from a certain distance what i'm saying or they cannot hear i'm sorry okay they can read the caption on the slide and this feature again is unique to Microsoft 365 users just take note that yes I do know that there are some slight errors or discrepancy with what I'm saying okay just take note for it to work even better ensure that you're using a microphone so that your words can be captured a lot clearer and sharper and with that guys I've shown you three very simple demos and how to demo them in PowerPoint with Microsoft 365. So just take note that the features I showed you are all unique Microsoft 365 features that you don't get if you're not on the subscription model. So with these features, it helps you not just save time, but be a better presenter overall. So guys, I hope you guys have watched this video and stay tuned, we'll be sharing other applications in this whole Microsoft 365 series, starting with Word, Excel, OneDrive, and many more. So guys, stay tuned, hope you enjoyed and learned something. And with that, goodbye.